Adam, I'm going to ask you about cover letters and uh, resumes. I'm sure you've seen tons of resumes, tons of cover letters. I looked so at 30 this morning already. <laughs> <laughs> well, so what tips do you have for job seekers uh, to have this great uh, resume that the recruiters in six seconds will say, I want to speak with this guy, what they can do? Absolutely. Let's talk about cover letters for a moment first. I am not a huge fan of cover letters in general. I think a cover letter should only be used if you need to explain a gap in your career, mm -hmm. if you need to explain a pivot, or if there's anything really critical that's important for that recruiter to know and understand. What it should not be is a mirror carbon copy of your resume. Mm -hmm. That is a surefire way, and I call it this, there's kind of like a three strike rule to me when I'm reviewing, when I'm reviewing backgrounds and, and resumes. Um, if you write a cover letter that's a mirror of your resume, I'm not gonna like that. If you write a cover letter and you leave in and you don't adjust the name of the company, or if you, put in somebody else's name in there that doesn't work in my company, it shows a lack of attention to detail and that's lazy. So mm -hmm. that's number one with cover letters. So you don't always need a cover letter. Some application processes require it. So if it does require it, just be mindful. Yeah. And if you don't really have anything to say, keep it short and sweet. You yeah. know, keep it short and sweet. Looking forward to connecting. Hope, you know, my background aligns Good with paragraph you. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. When it comes to resumes, it's something very similar and it comes down to relevancy. Mm -hmm. I could scan a resume in six seconds because I know what I'm looking for Yeah, from a skill set perspective. I could see the type of roles that you're working, the type of companies, the tenure, the experience level, because I know what my clients are looking for. We're not going to get into the whole hire for character, train for skill conversation. That's a whole separate topic there. But when it comes down to resumes, it's critical. So let's just say that I always, I always urge people and guide them. If you're roughly around 75% qualified for a role, yeah. apply for it. Make sure that that first job, your most current recent job in that first bullet point has the key most essential part that this job description is looking for. Do not make it up. Do not lie. Do not embellish. Just make sure it's upfront and strong and positioned to include a quantifiable result based on what they're looking for. Yeah. 